guys, I want to do a third trimester must-haves because I am 35 and a half weeks pregnant and I have some pretty funny one for you guys. I I was writing these and I thought they were pretty funny, so I'm going to share them with you guys. All right, let's begin. Um the first thing I have 10, okay? Um the first thing you should get or have is a comfy bed because you are not going to get ever comfortable ever again. You can either sleep on your left or your right. Most of the, mostly your left, they say. And even that, you you don't have a lot of selection. And everything's uncomfortable on your back. You got to pee on your side. Look, even if you just move, you you end up needing to pee. So that just you might as well just not move all night. You're going to need some new clothes and some longer shirts, comfier pants, something that's not so tight on the belly. And I mean, that just, every shirt I put on, I'm like showing this much my belly and I'm like, oh, sorry guys, okay, I'm going to go in public like this when I don't really want to, but I have no other clothes because they're all, they're all small, they're all short. <laughs> For me, I think a must have is lots and lots of water. I think you're just thirsty and especially if you're in the hotter months, well, you're always wanting more and more, you know liquids in you and you just you just need it um but yeah talking about water a must-have is a toilet nearby at all times you never know when you're gonna need to use the bathroom you never know when you're gonna have to pee and that's about like every five minutes so i mean you sit down you get up you gotta pee you lay down you, you just you do anything and you have to end up peeing so yeah toilet is a must-have Another must-have is some kind of slip-on shoes, like flip-flops or sandals or, I mean, just anything except sneakers or something because there is no way that you are going to bend down thoughtlessly and try to tie your shoes without squishing your baby in half. And, I mean, that's just, that's, that's just uncomfortable. Another third trimester must-have for me is... A pack of Tums. Like right now, I feel it a little bit. I mean, any type of things that make heartburn go away are just fantastic. Like I've heard milk works, which kind of worked a little bit for me, but I don't like milk. So Tums are my best friend. I I think I've already took some like three times this week because it's just, some people get it in the second trimester, but I have got it way more in the third trimester and it's just so hard to make it stop. <laughs> <laughs> and it's always before bed too, which which is not fun. A must have is learning how to eat less portions in the third trimester because there is there is seriously no room in your stomach for large, big, huge meals like I used to eat because I was just always hungry and wanted as much as I can, but now it just there is just no point because you're full after maybe like two bites. Then you gotta save some for later or you're you're feeling sick still or just no, there's all your organs in there and are in an absurd place, so you just don't want to mess with that. Okay, another essential that I thought of was Google. Okay, it's definitely essential, and I don't know how women back in the day survived alone knowing half the things we know now. Google can tell you anything you want to know. Oh, what's a lightning crotch? Google it. Oh, why is your feet swelling like an elephant? I don't know. Google it feel like you're having a heat stroke google it but you know what just call your doctor's office because that's most likely what google's gonna say <laughs> if you're worried call your doctor's office i mean google is a good like starting point to a platform on what you want to think of i guess the next thing new bras just face it your boobs will never look the same ever <laughs> last but not least Make sure, this is a real big essential, that you have tissues or something to wipe your tears with because you're just always crying. You think the first trimester was bad. No, no, no. You won't even know what crying is until you, you're crying over something spilling or someone saying something in the wrong tone or just straight up no ice cream is left in the freezer and you're just too goddamn tired to go get some at the store. So, you you end up pretty much crying like a big baby. Pun is definitely intended here because the baby inside you, you're just crying for him or her, you know? 
you are just letting out those tears for the, for when that baby comes because you literally have so much hormones that anything can happen and you just start crying and you don't even know why you're crying. Like I cried so much that I, I don't even know why I was crying. Like I was smiling with my tears thinking like why am I crying? Like I shouldn't even be crying and that's just what it is. So yeah, those are the top 10 I find essentials that you are going to need in your third trimester. Um, this is my second pregnancy. The first pregnancy I only got to 32 weeks so I couldn't really tell you as much because I was only in it for four weeks. But this time it's a lot longer and I'm definitely feeling the difference. You know, feeling crazy and feeling just large and in charge. <laughs> I hope you click that like and subscribe button for more funny awesome videos, more mommy related videos. I got a one and a half year old and another one on the way. Well, another baby on the way, not another one and a half year old. But yeah, hope to see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.